Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV Comrades. On this video we're doing the quest Vase of Everest. I wanted to talk to him instead of Jay. Hey, there we you go. You there? You got a sec? You see, I work at the gas station just outside of town, and I was hoping you could check up on it for me. I would go myself, but I overheard some hunters talking about some strange demon they saw. Said it was clamoring for elixirs. Oh, right. Let me make sure I have the right weapons. So I don't think I do. Alright, I have the Todayashi, that's good. On a kitty, that's fine, but the daggers needs to be switched. To the Delta daggers, although I'm likely not going to use them. But good to have him. Ah, stop jumping and talk to him. No. Come on. There Someone we go. Taking a look for me. Yep, I got it. Let's do it. Face of avarice. Deal with the magic box. Level 9 goblins, no sweat. Look at that thing. Beautiful. I got a goblin cap out of that. And we have a new enemy. The magic pot is clamoring for ingredients. Well, I will deal with all of his little goblin friends first. Only the pot is left, so if you attack him, you'll do no damage, as you can see. A couple more times, so there's no damage. So what we have to do is pick up this ingredient, and get near him, and hold circle. We might have to wait for him to stop. Oh, got it. He just gave me a bunch of meteor shots. the greedy son of a gun that's great i really liked out with you thanks again i don't know how i could ever repay you <sighs> i just want to get back in business all right quest complete the mass media has been spewing lies for years now the only news i can trust nowadays is what i see and hear with my own eyes and ears I just got a call from my friend Dino, and he had a story to tell. Is that right, Talcon? Tell me. Right now, Golden Key is the only active port in all of Lucis, and Dino says the Glaives and the Hunters are keeping it safe. Apparently, everyone's worried about Angel Guard, though. He said the entire island is covered in dark clouds. I told Dino to call me back if anything happens. Hmm, I wonder if one of the gods is behind everything. Interesting. Okay. You're the talk of the town, kid, thanks to those photos. Let's see. I think I will send power. Or jump. That works too. Any bright ideas? Uh, well, let's definitely get this one. That's cheap. It's looking brighter already. And that's 5,000 gil. Not bad. Let's see. Where shall we go? Let's go to Old Lestalem. All right, let's light it up. And we can now go to Old Lestalem. 
The shuttle bound for Old Lestalem is now up and running. Hello, buddy. The driver will escort you to the boarding. Bye now. And he's not very talkative. Really slow job. I'm power walking faster than you. Or at least the same speed. Right. Anyways, we're gonna travel. It is unsafe to venture out of the city on your own. Hunter HQ has prepared a truck to shuttle you between outposts. We will go to Old Lestal. Storm looks a little different. A tale of two Lestalems. After this outpost was established, our founding fathers continued their journey. They eventually settled just north of the Kelbos grasslands, basking in the warm light of the meteor. There's some kids here. I don't know what that kid's doing. He lost something. For. My leg was so stiff I could barely move until Lady Luna Freya healed me. I wouldn't have made it without her grace. Take a look at our wares. Alright, so he sells new weapons, I believe. I don't think Morningstar was an option before. There's an obelisk. For daggers, there's the Scram Assaxes. Might be interesting. Ice shield, hero shield, and a pinwheel. So, hey, might be worth again. picking up some weapons from him at some point, but I do want to be um, careful with how I spend my money. A message from Meldasio. Gasoline is one of the world's most precious resources. Used for recreational purposes, or use for rec recreational purposes is strictly prohibited. How are you today? Alright, so this is just uh, tattoos and such. And then some clothing. Thank you! Attention all lodging seekers. This facility is now operating under the supervision of Meldasio Hunter HQ. Those seeking lodging should contact the nearest available hunter. I heard the Kingsglaive was a bunch of traitors. For the record, we would never tolerate that sort of treason in Altitia. Is that so? Alright, she sells some treasures. And actually, some pretty decent ones. But they're not cheap. They're also not expensive either. Thank you! Something to consider. Although, I'd probably opt to just go get my own. This old outpost. Howdy and welcome to Old Lestalem, birthplace of the Clane region. Pioneers settled along, along the resource-rich banks of the River Winath. Their innovative spirit lives on to this day in the industrial town of Lestalem. Aw, kids! It's Kenny and Kelly Crow. We've left town until Mr. Sun is ready to rise and shine. But don't worry, we'll fly back to the nest real soon. And we'll be serving up more mouthfuls of happiness when we do. Welcome back! And this guy sells chat things, which are hilarious and I would totally use if I was able to play multiplayer. Thank you. Those are not cheap. Please come again. 6400 go. I admit I haven't always been the most upstanding gentleman. And just look at me now. 
I guess what goes around comes around after all. That Naveth Arland is a living legend in the angling community. I guess the gods really do walk among us. Naveth is here. He is here. Whew, you scared me. I thought you were a demon for a second. Naveth has offered to sell meteor shards he has fished up. So there is a trophy for having lots and lots and lots of kilowatts of power. And this is likely the approach I will take when I get there. Just buying it from him with my gill, which is why I want to spend my gill very carefully so I have lots of extra gill left over. If that's possible. I don't know at this point, but it seems like a good strategy. So that is my plan for now. Nothing like the great outdoors to take your mind off it all. All right, and that's pretty much it for Old Lestalm. The only reason to really come here, as far as I can tell, is to buy from the shops or buy from Naboth. And that's basically it. So, let's go head back to Lestalm. We are back and by supplying old Lestalem you can see our main quest I've seen a has been incremented by one So we've got one of the four major outposts powered up. All right, well, let's go ahead and send some more power ready to get powered up We'll send some more power around old Lestalem. How about this one? We've got the power that's Dane's Haven, and we got two new missions. Defense Pylon of Light and Hunt a Secret Experiment. Thanks again. All right, and You're the talk about, of the town, kid, thanks to those photos. How about info? I know there's some new stuff in here. Not this and Gladio, we had Navith Arlen. Angler whose illustrious exploits are more than mere fish tales. No danger is too great. No nook too small and the adventurous or for the adventurous angler. But the coming of the long night nevertheless calls him to the city time and again. While even the toughest of survivalists have been known to touch base in town, seeing the living legend leave the lakeside has proven a harrowing wake-up call to the state of the world for otherwise oblivious sportsmen. Observing life in the Stalem firsthand has instilled the angler with a newfound respect for the hunters the famous fishermen's intrepid feats in assisting them have garnered admiration in return. And then we have David Auburnbury. I forgot to show Navith, or Navith's uh, picture. Head honcho at Hunter HQ, responsible for recovering the dog tags of lost hunters in addition to beating back demons and other dangerous denizens of the wild. Though heir apparent to his mother Esma's seat, his promotion was delayed per his lack of leadership, a shortcoming that became particularly pressing during a dog tag recovery mission involving Noctis and Kimya and Malmalam Thicket. He maintains an essential role behind the front lines, training new recruits, gathering geographical and ecological data through dog tag retrieval, and, and directing provision and manpower logistics between outposts. And our friend Navith. Oh. He actually doesn't have a picture. Alrighty then. And documents, we have research log, magic pot. Although amphibiology is my area of expertise, I know a thing or two about every aspect of the animal kingdom. This girl didn't graduate top of her class for nothing. One behavior that always fascinated me about small mammals is the practice of hoarding. Grains, nuts, prey, you name it. They pack their cheeks full of food and bring it back to their nests to gnaw on in the comfort of their own homes. I bring this up because a strange species of demon I encountered the other day. What, I f or what fascinated me most about its hoarding habits was the method by which it gathered goods. Instead of using its mouth, it stored items in what looked to be some sort of vase. What's more is that it seemed to have a penchant for particularly expensive goods. 
luxury items, if you will. For better or for worse, I didn't have a gill on me, so I handed over a lovely little froggy I had picked up while walking around. I did so with much reluctance, I might add, but some sacrifices must be made in the name of science. With that, the croaker went into the pot, and the demon disappeared. Where he went, I may never know. At least he left with a smile on his face. Guess what? Alrighty, and with that, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.